Not for a single moment. Television is about content, and content is about stories, and people have been telling stories for about 500,000 years, so it's not going to uh, go away. Of course, there will be new ways, additional ways of delivering the content uh, to the viewer, but the basic idea of a television program is going to be with us in perpetuity, I'm sure of it. I think the future of television is essentially about cooperative technologies, using the, the tools of IT and higher quality to provide a better experience. It's still telling a story, it's still the same thing as we have, except of course there's a greater degree of involvement by the viewer in, the, in, in results, particularly in things like interactivity. First of all, you have uh, the systems that allow you to experience the television or the, the radio signal uh, better. They are to do with image quality and sound quality. You have that on one side, and on the other side are all the things that information technology is bringing. And this is things like the personalization and so on, use of the cloud, use of uh, voice activation. The voice activation will become uh, more sophisticated, perhaps with the uh, human avatars on the screen. So I think personally that the real future of television can be summed up as giving television more of a human face. 5G may well become very popular with the public because it's high data rate, low cost. And if it does, then broadcast will need to be brought to 5G receivers. So what we need now technically is a system, 5G broadcast, that will allow uh, broadcast to be received on new 5G receivers. There's a way to go yet, but the idea is there. In addition to that, of course, we have all of the systems of combining broadcasting and broadband, the hybrid broad across broadband systems, and all of these are going to interact and work together. The higher the sound and the vision quality, the more involved you feel in the program, the more you remember about it, and eventually, given things are the same, the longer you will watch the program for. So there is a major benefit in having higher image and sound quality. That's on one side, and that's a benefit for the viewer and listener. On the other side, in terms of information technologies, you've got all the benefits of personalization. There is an epithet now, which is that technology is content and content is technology. The thesis is that these two are becoming indispensably interconnected. That in order to be successful in television in the future, you will have to both master the creativity of program making and the use of technology. For example, a lot of content now comes to us via internet, and if it does, the content provider can know exactly who's watching what all the time. So he has a lot of data. This is big data sometimes called. And they can use this to shape the program, shape the future uh, of the program.